I'm here at CES 2012 with RIM QNX, and this is Derek Kuhn, who's the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for QNX, and we're sitting in this uh, lovely Porsche. Yeah. QNX is known for uh, making integrated systems for automobiles, among other things, and um, you've got some pretty cool toys and gadgets here in this car. I want to just drive this out. Do you think I could just drive it out of here? If we're fast enough, we can make it, Fritz. I, I know it. Okay. All right. Well, we'll try that after. Let's see the demo first, though. Sure. So what? show us some of the gadgets and gizmos in here. Well, I mean, one of the cool things of this car is it's it's one of the first cars ever to be shown with instant Bluetooth pairing. So, you know, standard, standard smartphone, right? Uh, BlackBerry uh, 9900 um, has NFC built into the smartphone. So many do now, right? Um, on, on this car, what we can do is instead of going through the the, the tri normal uh, smart uh, smartphone Bluetooth pairing, we just actually put it where there's an NFC tag. So right below the console. There. Right below the there's a few con there's a few that are actually in the uh, in the car. So instant pairing. Instant pairing is 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 a is a big is a big piece of of, of what's in the car. What um, can you bring that screen back just for a second? Yeah. Because it it. it that looks just like uh, a BlackBerry map. You know what, I mean, you, you know already, we're, we're doing the software and we're part of the RIM family and uh, and we're, we're very involved in, in doing some of those things. So for a concept car like this, reuse of some of that HMI, because we're not an HMI kind of company, um, is, is easy for us. Okay, what, what's next? Um, next, I wanted to show you the media control of the rear seat tablets. So mounted on both rear seats are our BlackBerry Playbook tablets. If we choose multimedia here, um, and we actually choose the nodes, you see there's an actual picture of the car, and and in here, you know, we can choose center console. Uh, we we can actually you know go and choose an artist, and and this is just, you know, whatever whatever you uh, whatever music. You I love, hate right? this song. Okay, let's let's not do this song, um, but um, one of the cool things is if we actually go to the back, right we can actually do control of what's in the back as well. So say for example, I wanted to uh, showcase a video in the back, I can just choose that video and then press play and now that video is running behind us. So for kids, it is integrate, you know, integration of what the rear seat entertainment was with DVD players, but now on tablets. Wow, so I don't have to buy the, uh, the built-in televisions anymore and all the parental control comes up here. Oh, all the parental control comes up here. This is sort of the, the evolution of what that rear seat entertainment experience can be. You can still push the DVDs to the back seat as well, but this shows how tablets can be integrated as well. Um, what's next? Well, one of the other things I wanted to sh showcase to you as well was um, the Ultra HD voice uh, in this car. So, And you guys make that, right? Yeah, yeah. One, a big part of QNX is the acoustics processing division. Um, we do a lot of hands-free work with a number of the OEMs around, around the world. Um, and, uh, and uh, you know, here we're trying to showcase what that next generation 4G voice experience in a car could be. So this is full duplex stereo telephony in a car. So let me uh, let let me let, let's I'll get them to call us and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll we we can actually experience it for ourselves. Okay. Hey, how are you? We're very well yourselves. Good, thank you. So um, we uh, are doing a little bit of a voice demo here, Mark, and uh, we thought it'd be kind of cool if you could give us a little sort of spatial recognition with the lefts and rights. Sure. Well, um, you're listening to how much have you told? Uh, our, our guest about what we're listening to here. A little bit already, but uh, I mean, you can add a little bit as well. Okay, well, uh, it's uh, super high definition, full duplex stereo telephony. So instead of a single eight kilohertz channel, like a normal phone call, uh, you've got two 48 kilohertz channels giving you the full 20 to 20 kilohertz frequency range. Uh, and it works in both directions at the same time, and it's in uh, living stereo. So I can go over to one side of the car and talk to you over here, and I can talk on this side of the car. And it's a lot easier to distinguish a one voice from another, one person from another. And you get a sense of the acoustic space in our tiny little sound. <laughs> nice. It sounds like they're drinking back there. Yeah, well, you know what, we're trying to have fun. But um, one of the cool things is, hey, Mark, could you play actually a little bit of music for us just to showcase to us what that sounds like over this? Sure thing. So the codec works really well with voice and with music. So we can get the case the Check this out. This is ridiculous. Thank so, you. It's 
possibilities for this kind of uh, voice communications multimedia presentation all over the same line. Okay, hey, thanks so much, guys, for calling. Pleasure. No problem. Have a great day. Thank you. It's cool, no? Yeah, that sounds uh, that sounds really good. I love the uh, the multi-channel. That's uh, that's quite fascinating. I mean, it really showcases what that whole 4G experience on voice could really be in a car, um, because I mean, now you, you just you don't have that that same kind of spatial sense. I mean, think about it when if you're on a conference call with your office, I mean, you'd get a sense where people are. And you know some of the studies that we've been involved in have shown us if you can have a much better quality voice call, there's far less distraction associated with the actual um, hands-free discussion in the car. So I've got this uh, console in front of me here yeah. too with lots of blinking, uh, disappearing and reappearing things. What's that about? So this is a completely reconfigurable digital instrument cluster. Um, you know, we've tried to keep to the heritage that is the Porsche 911. Um, you can see this is actually the track mode where there's actually the track being displayed. You know, various different gauges can hide themselves. Um, that that big gray dot, if if we were navigating, would be it can go away. It can come in there. We can fill it with navigation information, turn by turn. We can put media metadata in it. I mean, really, it's a toolkit to allow for an automaker to do anything they possibly want. So this is just a demo for the Porsche. Nissan or somebody else could build whatever they wanted. Right, that. right. I mean, every year QNX uh, uh, works with with one specific automaker on the concept car for that year, and and this year we we've, we've done it with the Porsche. Um, our parent uh, released a Porsche design uh, BlackBerry this year as well, which is kind of cool. So we thought it had some some connection to that that excitement. What's this little doohickey up there? Well, I don't know if you, if you know the actual car. There's a there's a variant of this car that has a chronometer here, and it was analog. And we thought with everything actually being changed out, we had to change the analog chronometer. So it's another screen, and what we've tried to do is actually make it look and feel exactly like the chronometer on the Porsche, but with its own separate screen. It was meant to just showcase what what the art of the possible was be would be. And uh, you know when you stop it and you reset it. It basically acts exactly like that chronometer that's in the Porsche today. Nice. One last question for you. There is a lot of stuff going on, and there's certainly a groundswell of, of um, critique and concern around all of the distractions that are being put into cars. Yeah. Um, what is your response to that? What's the company's response to that? Um, as you sort of stuff it with distractions in some ways, um, What's going to happen if there's legislation and and you know what is what is research in motion doing to um, prepare for that kind of future? Well, I mean, you know, uh, we are we are QNX, right? We're we're the we're the we're the software side, uh, and and uh, and 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 from our and from our standpoint, we take this stuff very seriously. Um, you know. We are trying to develop a toolkit based on our reference platform that allows an automotive uh, manufacturer to do whatever they possibly want to address those concerns. And one of the key things that we believe is if we, if we are able to enhance some of the simplicity in the car, um, we are able to deliver on a, a, a much safer drive, a far less distracted drive. But so much of what you see here is us mocking up things to show technology. It's not something that would go into production car because a lot of the way these things actually go into production is defined by the manufacturer themselves and, and is built upon the QNX toolkit, which is the re a reference platform that we announced um, at the show here today called CAR, or the next generation of the CAR, Connected Automotive Reference. And, and they're the ones who would the car makers are the ones who have to worry about the regulations. Well, we, we haven't. We talk worry too. I mean, it's it, you know, it's it's so important that we are able to give them the toolkit to make it that much better. I mean, for example, this car is equipped with a, a tremendous amount of voice recognition, voice control um, that you know around this neighborhood here in CES is very difficult to demonstrate because it's so loud. But um, but a lot of that kind of thing really, I think, will manifest itself in helping. Uh, that, that drive. The intent for us is to basically never have to pull the smartphone out of your purse, out of your pocket, um, and just have the car seamlessly integrate in a way that is, it, it really keeps the driver's eyes on the road. Great. Derek, thank you. I think it's about time that we uh, drive this thing on out of here. All right, fantastic. Let's go. I'm ready.